Bitcoin, the best asset ever created. Welcome back to the channel. So we're going to hear from Michael Saylor in a little bit, but Bitcoin, the best asset, currency, property, store value ever created. Why? Because it's the most decentralized asset in the world and probably the most liquid. Doesn't need borders, doesn't need governments, doesn't care about them. Let's hear some things. What does that mean in terms of price uh, per, co per coin? At 500000 Right, that's a ten trillion dollar asset at five million. That's a hundred trillion dollar asset. So you think it crosses a million? It can go even higher. Yeah, I think it keeps going up forever. We're gonna hear more from Michael Saylor in a little bit, but for now, I'm just gonna ask you to subscribe to the channel. It's a pretty small channel, so every little thing helps: a comment, a like, a subscribe, but uh, whatever you can do. But why does Bitcoin have the edge over everything else? Let's talk about this. Bitcoin, often labeled as digital gold, has taken the world by storm. But let's break it down. Is it really the best liquid asset ever created? The answer is a resounding yes. First of all, decentralization. Unlike traditional currencies controlled by governments and banks, Bitcoin operates on a decentralized ledger known as a blockchain. This means no single entity has control, making it immune to government interference. Because we all know how corrupt our government officials are, right? Limited supply. Bitcoin has a fixed supply of 21 million coins. This scarcity is akin to owning a piece of a finite resource, just like owning a rare piece of art or property. That's right. Security. The blockchain technology behind Bitcoin ensures secure and transparent transactions. Your assets are safeguarded like never before. The thing about wallets is you can destroy them, have them stolen. You can throw it out the window if you want. As long as you have your 24 passphrase you're good to go buy another wallet download it enter the phrase all your crypto still there right we all know that's the best way to store your value last but not least store of value over the years bitcoin has proven itself as a reliable store of value similar to real estate or precious metals it's the future of investment you can just hold this in your wallet it doesn't matter about borders anything right you want to buy something and say Bitcoin, you just send it and it's done. No hassle. Peer-to-peer -peer markets 24-7. This is the future. This is why Bitcoin is so valuable. Programmable cryptocurrency smart contracts that take over the whole entire financial sector. Let's hear what Michael Saylor has to say about some of these things. If we look at Bitcoin and model it as uh, digital gold, you know, the market cap goes to between 10 and 20 trillion. But... Gold is, remember, gold is, is defective property. Gold is dead money. You have a billion dollars of gold that sits in a vault for a decade. It's very hard to mortgage the gold. It's also very hard to rent the gold. You can't loan the gold. No one's going to create a business with your gold. So gold doesn't generate much of a yield. So for that reason, most people wouldn't store a billion dollars for a decade in gold. They would buy a billion dollars of commercial real estate property. And the reason why is because I can rent it and generate a yield on it that's in excess of the maintenance cost. So if you consider digital property, that's a hundred to two hundred trillion dollar uh, addressable market. So I would think it, you know, it goes from ten trillion to a hundred trillion as people start to think of it as digital property. What does that mean in terms of price uh, per co per coin? At five hundred thousand. Right, that's a ten trillion dollar asset at five million. That's a hundred trillion dollar asset. So you think it crosses a million? It can go even higher. Yeah, I think it keeps going up forever. I mean, there's no reason we couldn't go to ten million a coin, right? Because digital property isn't the highest form, right? Gold was that low frequency money. Property is a mid frequency money. But when I start to, when I start to um, program it faster it starts to look like digital energy and and uh, then it doesn't just replace property then you're starting to replace bonds it's 100 trillion in bonds there's 50 to 100 trillion in other currency derivatives and then the, and then and these are all conventional use cases right i i think that there's 350 trillion to 500 trillion dollars worth of currency currency derivatives in the world mm -hmm. and that, that and when i say that i mean things that are valued based upon fiat cash flows 
any commercial real estate, any bond, any sovereign debt, any any currency itself, any derivatives to those things, they're all derivatives and they're all defective. And they're all defective because of this persistent 7 to 14 percent lapse, inflate, which we call inflation. Big things coming for Bitcoin. Let me know your thoughts down below. Subscribe, play hard, and trade smart.